What's going on, YouTube? So you and your buddies are in the mood to shoot some Taliban on Bong Luja. But you guys don't have a server. And none of you guys know how. High school didn't teach us how to port forward, let alone taxes. And Billy Gates, by design, don't want us using VPNs anymore, so someone's going to have to teach us how to port forward. I believe you probably have Spectrum like I do. It's a monopoly. And trust me, they're hassle-free. So let's dive down to it. I'm going to show you how to play some Taliban rippage. All right, you ball sniffers, first thing is first. We need to figure out what your IP address is. Go on your bottom left computer in Windows and type in CMD. We're gonna open up the command prompt and pretend we're hacking like we're on Ubuntu. All right, so this is a command we're gonna need to type in IP config slash all. This will give you every single IP address ever listed in the Bitcoin community. However, we're looking just for ours in specific. We need to find an IP4 address we can see that if we scroll up. Where is you? Um, right here. Boom. And then we need a default gateway. Where is you? Um, boom. This number we're going to use first, the default gateway. This is how we're going to access into Spectrum, the, the mothership of all internet communication. Now, let's open up our internet browser. You see how I get this overlay error? I don't know. Someone's watching me. That's all I got to say. That's why I got DuckDuckGo. So in your server browser, all you're going to want to do is copy and paste that number. No, not the bookmarks. The number. This will give us access to our router provided by Spectrum. Ubi. It's tremendous. Absolutely fast. Tremendous Wi-Fi. Trust me. No, no hassles. It's hassle-free. Everything about Spectrum. Hassle-free. All rights reserved. Okay. When you log in. You're going to have a default usually pop up, and the default is usually user and then admin, okay? Your username is user, password, admin. Me, I changed it because I understand that Billy Gates wants to see my all my information and all my private information. So I changed it to admin and then my own password. You'll never figure that one out. All right, folks, on this part, it's going to get real, real, real deep. Look at all these numbers. I know you're confused, you're scared. And you don't know what to do, but I'm going to be here with you, walking side by side, step every step of the way. We're going to have to find where it says your port forwarding settings. This is real simple. It's usually under, like, advance or firewall. I think this one was under advance. Yep. Sometimes you'll see it under a wireless option. It's real confusing. Every router is, uh, like I said, hassle-free, so it should be pretty simple. But you're going to have to go through and find where it says your forwarding tab. Boom, mine's under advanced forwarding, and then now we got this. As you can see, I already have my Bong Luja 3 rippage server already enabled, but we're going to remove this and go from scratch. Uh-oh, am I going to ever be able to play again? I promise we will. So on this screen, you'll see create IP4 and IP6. We're going to need to do IP4. Now, our IP4 address was 192. Dot. Whoa, what just happened? Let's try that again. Our IP address was 192.168.0.8. We'll double check. That's our IP4. 192.168.0.8. Tremendous. We're going to be shooting Taliban really shortly, folks. Now, we need to figure out what the start and the end port are on Arma 3 Rippage. So what I do is I go to Google or DuckDuckGo in, in specific, you know, Arma 3 server ports. And it looks like 2302 to 2306. Arma 3 to client traffic. That's all we need. All right, those are all the open ports. This is a TCP one. I don't know. I don't use that one. I always did a 2302 to 2306. It works. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So 2302, 2306. I don't know what external or what any of this is. We're going to do both. Description, Arma 3, Rippage. Enabled on. Just double check. 2302 to 2306. 2302 to 2306. Let's apply. All right. We're port forward. Now let's go back to the game. All right. A nice 30 minutes later, the game finally booted up. This is how we're going to host the server. If you are the hostee, you know what I'm saying? If you're going to be hosting the server, this is how we host the server. We got to make sure we're port forward, okay? That's step one. Step two, multiplayer, server browser. Now we need to click host server. Your name, this is any name you want to make it to be. Be creative, you know? Don't be like something stupid like my parents are naming Zach. You know, be something fun like Bong Luja. I don't even know how to spell it. 
Rippage. Then we got to go to Internet, Port 2302, Max Player 16, Password. I usually make it a capital weed, and I tell my friends it's lowercase weed. It usually gets them tricked. And then this is the final option right here, UPNP. Make sure that's enabled. Host server. That's all you need to do, folks. Everything is going to set up. Now you just click all your things. We're going to go to, where are we, Bong Luja, Bong Luja. We're going to go to Zargabab. Fuck it. It's simple. It's quick. Restart. We're going in. It's super fun. Super quick. We got to be team leader. Okay. And now we're going to get into the setup options. Your buddies can join. Have fun ripping. Fuck the Taliban. They didn't win any war. And God bless America. Peace out.